Let's talk about this uh, sucker line, Jake Rowe, 14 and a half points. You had some breakdowns over at dogshq.com about how physical the cats are, but I kind of like where your head's at thinking maybe Vegas knows something that we don't. Man, it opened at 19, and I just – Tell you what, I, I think I've been kind of in tune with sucker lines since like 2011, Georgia Auburn. And um, I remember going into that week, I've never been a big sports better. Uh, one of the, I think the only college football bet I've ever actually placed, um, I won a parlay uh, with a with a little uh, private bookie, and, and the bookie did not pay up. Um, I should have went in there and kneecapped some people. I've kind of always looked for sucker lines because um, I had a I had a good friend that year that was really into betting, really into sports betting. And um, he told me, he was like, man, this is a sucker line if I've ever seen one. I think Georgia was favored by like 17. And that wasn't a – I mean, it wasn't a – it was a SEC championship game Georgia team, but a very inconsistent Georgia team. And Auburn was supposed to have a good one. And, I mean, they rolled into town and Georgia just beat their socks off. I mean, just beat them to death. And um, since then, I've always kind of looked at the line to where, oh, that looks like easy money, sucker, you know. And um, that's, that's what this one feels like. And, you know, listen, I, 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 honestly, I, can't, I honestly can't say that any time I've ever really got that feeling, it's been wrong. Um, I really can't. Like, I mean, it's – but at the same time, like – you know, maybe, maybe that's that tells you what you need to know about this game because it's bound to be wrong at some point. But that's the first thought I had was this looks like this looks like cheese to me. My eyes don't deceive me with Georgia getting better each week. I know they struggled at Auburn, but it's such a thin line. Like the margin is so thin with the like the interception that uh, Beck had early on in the game, and then um, Delp's fumble. Like you don't do those two things, and credit to Auburn. I mean, they made plays on them, but you don't do those two things then it's an easy win for Georgia. So, I don't know. The tape doesn't lie to me, and I know it's it's frustrating to see Georgia kind of scuffle a little bit and and take a, a little bit of time to start to get into these games, but I won't be surprised if that happens just for that reason. But the tape doesn't lie on Kentucky, and you spend a lot of time watching the Wildcats, Jake Rowe. They're a physical bunch. They are, and, um, you know, the, listen, I, I want to give them all the credit in the world because they took the fight to Florida. Now, I, I, I'm going to say – I said this on the board order today. I, I have a hard time calling guys soft that could just beat the piss out of me, okay? Like, I mean, you know, take Florida's edge, um, their number six cornerback. I don't care. He's probably going to wear me out in a fight, all right? So I don't want to sit there and call them soft. Yeah, you're not trying to be that Ole Miss fan on the field – talking to the LSU player. Yeah, I ain't trying trying to get none of that smoke, okay? But compared to the team wearing blue on Saturday, um, the one wearing blue and white and no orange, Florida was just manhandled. And it was it was edge players basically running away from blocks. It was safeties kind of walk, you know, jogging up to the run fit so that they didn't have to get in there. I mean, they they were, they played a little scared of Ray Davis. They played a little scared of Kentucky's offensive line. And uh, listen, I know there are some hardcore Georgia fans out there that are emotional about it being close to Auburn who want to say Georgia wasn't physical with Auburn either. That's not true. Um, but ultimately, Georgia Georgia fits against the run. Um, you know, Georgia takes home blocks. Georgia's not going to turn those down. And uh, I'm interested to see kind of how that works in their favor, especially, you know, we'll get into some of the matchup stuff and and talk about some of the stuff later on. But, you know, Barry and Brown, um, big-time prospect. Uh, I believe he's from right there in Nashville, isn't he, Palmer? Yeah, Pro Con High School. Gave Georgia some trouble last year. Um, don't really know what his status is going to be for this week. Don't think he's getting much practice if he is able to play. Davian Robinson, the one that one of their other receivers, their other leading receiver with 19 catches also questionable. Everybody's dinged up this time of year. It's that, it's that point of year where everybody's begging for the bye week and uh, Georgia just happens to kind of be getting just a little healthier. So um, return home night game crowd should be into it. Uh, you know, uh, early early Wednesday lean here. I like Georgia, and um, I, I kind of like where Georgia's got to be right now in their headspace.